The idea needs to be in your brains yourself first. In order to be able to educate, to teach, to develop your own team, you need to make sure what kind of football do I want to play? And this is what all the top coaches in Europe have in common. And the, the, the great thing for me, the exciting thing is to watch those different kind of, I mean, if you see, even without glasses, Atletico Madrid play, not knowing, maybe you come from a different planet and you see them play. From the very first minute you realize this is Diego, Diego Simeone football. This is Thomas Tuchel football. This is Jurgen Klopp football. This is whatsoever football. And this is what it's all about. In my opinion, this is one of the, the major jobs of football coaches to make this transformation happen. The word coming out of Manchester United is that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is completely secure in his job. That's what the reports we're seeing. But that doesn't mean that we can't have a conversation about what needs to come next. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to take a look in detail, a full story look at the reports linking Ralph Ragnick to the Manchester United job. Where have they come from? Where did they start? Who is Ralph Ragnick? Could he be Manchester United's interim manager to replace Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and maybe steer us through to the summer? Maybe allowing the club to better plan for the longer term? I'm going to cover everything in this video, which is designed to try and, I suppose, bring you up to speed. Rather than you having to read everywhere about what's going on with Ralph, it's all going to be covered in this video. So please, if you would, consider subscribing. And let's get into it and let's talk about these Ralph Ragnick stories. Over the last 24 hours, it's really coming from Christian Falk, the sports editor over at Build in Germany, saying that Ralph Rangnick is still interested in the Manchester United job. And as you can see there in that tweet, it's not the first time that he has been linked with that job at Manchester United. So let's reverse it back to 2019 and take a look at those original reports. Because here, as you can see, Bayern were considering Rangnick, but Manchester United were also monitoring. That was the time with Solskjaer, was he going to come in and take the job in full? Now, obviously, we know what happened there. We know that he didn't go to Bayern, and we know that he didn't come to Manchester United. But there's a crucial interview that happened back in 2019 that can help us understand exactly who Ralph Radnick is. Was he interested in that Manchester United job? Let's take a look at what he said in that interview. As I said, this one here, clubs should be more like car manufacturers. He's a very methodical man, and this is what he said about Manchester United. Since Sir Alex Ferguson left, they were underperforming. They haven't won the title since he left at any club. If you cannot get the right players, then you should at least not sign the wrong ones. You were in trouble if you do that in one or two or three consecutive transfer windows. And we all know that Manchester United got it really wrong with a lot of signings we made under Van Gaal and Mourinho. Back to what Ralph was saying. The club building is all about building the right squad by transferring the right players away and having more than 50% success rate in bringing in the right players then you must have the best possible coaches to develop these players. So, and this is a really important thing to understand about Ralph as we continue to look into these reports. He's a very, very methodical individual, a really distinguished and long career in management and in roles outside management of football clubs. And that's a crucial aspect to understand about it as well. Let's go on to hear what he said about the actual United job though back in 2019. He said, I'm happy in my current job and it would take me a lot to lure me away right now. There is a lot of space for a vision at Manchester United, but I'm very happy where I am. So Ralph there talking about how Manchester United needed a vision as a football club. And we all know that for sure. So it's kind of refreshing to hear someone speaking like that, someone who's linked with the job. And it's not just coming from Christian Falk. Miguel Delaney has followed up on those reports from Christian Falk and said there is currently no feeling that Solskjaer will be moved on from sources close to Manchester United. He goes on to say that some figures have floated the idea of bringing in Ralph Ragnick as an interim, and he already has a relationship with the Manchester United hierarchy. This is a really crucial and important point here. He will be interested in any such role, but one issue, he would want some kind of footballing position afterwards. If Manchester United were to make a move, they would ideally have a top-class coach come who would come in straight away, and there are none currently available. So that point there about what Ragnick would want at Manchester United, if he did come in as interim manager, he'd want a position upstairs after. Now, for a lot of United fans, you'd ask, is he, is he the right man for that? Could he help Manchester United's board? Could he help Manchester United modernise as a football club? The short answer is yes. And the long answer is still yes. What I'm going to do now is take a look at Ralph Ragnick's career. What's he been doing today? And I'll tell you what, his CV is long. Let's take a look at it. As I said, he's currently, right now, he's the Managing Director of Sport and Communications out in Locomotive Moscow. But look down at this history he's got. 
He's down there. He's managed Reutlingen. He's managed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different Bundesliga clubs. And with Leipzig, he started at Salzburg as a sporting director, went to Leipzig as a sporting director, went through to a manager and then became their global sports director involved in controlling all of the Red Bull brand, including Salzburg, including Leipzig and everything else they're doing. Ralph Ragnick has a distinguished career, is considered one of the best overall German coaches for the longevity that he's had, for how Im impressive he's been in modernizing Leipzig. He's been considered very crucial to that club and how they've all of a sudden become a bit of a European superpower really over the last five, six, seven, eight, nine years. And, and Ralph Ragnick has been a big, big part of that. So if you're looking at a manager with experience, if you're looking at a manager who's done it at multiple different clubs, if you're looking at a manager that's not only done it as a manager, but has done it as a sporting director, has done it as a global sports director, and right now is a managing director of sport and communications at Locomotive Moscow, he really has a very distinguished, a very experienced, and a very long CV. Now, some of you might say, ah, oh, Sam, it kind of sounds like a bit of a Louis van Gaal. It's very different. Louis van Gaal was very much a manager and a manager only. Ralph Radnick is somebody who, as you saw from the video at the start, he's somebody who really is very meticulous in his detail. He likes the overall look of the game from a coach's perspective. And he appreciates every single thing that every single coach does and, and, and I suppose, enjoys those aspects of it. Now, a question for, for a lot of you might be, why would he leave? The my locomotive job would he leave the locomotive job for manchester united and in saying that question it answers it for yourself would he leave a job as a, as a director of communications at locomotive moscow for the manchester united manager job yeah yeah he would it's not even a question but reversing back to what miguel delaney said there he would want or in terms of the initial reports that are coming out, that Ralph Ragnick would want a job upstairs at Manchester United after. Could that be something that jars with the board? Because if someone like Ralph Ragnick came in, it would be a massive uh, release of power from Manchester United. Having someone like him who really is experienced, who really has done it at multiple clubs and really could come into Manchester United and help. He mentioned the vision there. The vision is so important to Manchester United. We all felt and wanted John Murto to come in and be that man, but it was an internal appointment. As good, maybe he's been good in certain respects and bad in other respects, but someone like Ralph Ragnick, you can't argue with his CV and you can't argue with the fact that he could come in and do a very good job at Manchester United. And certainly what we need right now is a very experienced head to come in and steer what is a very top quality squad of players. We've got Ronaldo, man. We've got Baran. We've got Bruno right now. We've got Paul Pogba, Rashford, Greenwood, Martial. There's so many different players in that team that we all know that squad is capable of competing. And a manager like Ralph Ragnick, for a lot of people, could come in and do a very good job straight away. And I know a lot of you are going to ask me in the comments, you know, Sam, what sort of formation does Ralph Ragnick cover? I'm not going to look at that in any real detail in this video. This one's going to be about the reports. But touching on it briefly, having a quick look, he likes to use a 4 3 3. If we look at this from Total Football and Analysis, it sort of summarizes the ethos on it. All in all, Ragnick is one of the most interesting coaches on the market at the moment. He's got great experience. His style of play requires a lot of running, intensity, and physicality in general. Due to that, he prefers to play with the younger squads, enables his teams to recover more quickly. So he likes that Ragnick's sides will not keep possession for the sake of it. They will look to actively lure the opponent into pressing traps. Ragnick clearly has his defined style, and it looks to be based around the 4-3-3, which again would suit Manchester United. Now, for me, this is one of the most important aspects of Ragnick, why... He's being considered potentially as a potential, potential, potential. While well, he's being considered as a potential interim manager for Manchester United, and why it would make sense. He's, as I said, he's 62, 63 years old right now. He's coming towards the end of his career. He is not looking for, for a, like a long term job. He's not looking to come into Manchester United and be like a four, five, six year manager. By the sounds of it, he would want to come in. And imagine he came in, did a great role for seven months, set the foundations. Eric Ten Hag came in and Manchester United had that plan in place. And we headed now into the Watford game, planning with Ralph Ragnick between now and May, and then with a long-term plan of Eric Ten Hag, which we would start to establish now and start putting the feelers out and getting it prepared and set up. It's a bit like what happened when Pep Guardiola went to Manchester City. He didn't just walk into a club that was in disarray. He walked into a club that literally had made the bed for him, built the bed, put the duvet on it and said, in you get Pep, this is for you. Now, Manchester United can't do anything as long-term as that, but if we were to plan now, in November, for Ten Hag coming in in May, 
we could do a lot of groundwork and someone like Ralph Ragnick in the experience that he has could very much do that. And if Manchester United were to modernise as a football club, then maybe something like this would make so much logical sense. And then maybe that's exactly why Man United won't do it. As I said, I'm not coming here saying he's definitely going to be our interim manager. And I will look at other options during the week because it's a very difficult question. But there's so many reports coming out about it that I had to do this video because I wanted to sort of keep you up to date in exactly what's going on. So I hope this has helped in that sense. But in terms of a, like a style, a philosophy, a coach who's more than a coach, a coach who is a sort of a leader, a bit of a visionary, Ralph Ragnick ticks a hell of a lot of boxes that Manchester United simply have not had ticked under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And we need something like that, whether it's Ralph Ragnick or not, whether it's someone else entirely. It's obvious that the position of Solskjaer right now has become untenable. We all thought it was after Liverpool and now the City's happened two weeks later. It's just, it's inexcusable, it's unforgivable and it's untenable. So things, look, if Manchester United might not be planning for life after Solskjaer right now, it doesn't mean that we can't have a conversation about it. And Ralph Ragnick is the first conversation we are having. What's your reaction to the Ralph Ragnick rumours and reports? Do you think he would be a smart appointment by Manchester United? Do you think there's any chance that the board would appoint him? Or would it be too much of the Glazers and Woodward a, admitting their mistakes with Solskjaer and B, uh, releasing power, releasing the grip of power. And that's what it feels like, a power struggle at Manchester United. Like we need to do a coup d'etat, a military get involved and try and take over the power of the Glazers. We shouldn't be doing that. But in terms of modernising a club, someone like Ralph Ragnick could take us towards that direction. What's your reaction to that in the comments? Let me know what you think about him. As I said, I'm going to do a separate video looking at formation, style and tactics, but this one's more about the reports. He's been linked with the job back in 2019. He was interested then, talked about the vision of Manchester United and how we need it. And we'd need it now, a couple of years later still, more than ever. He could very much be the man for that. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Please drop a like on the video. And I hope this video has helped you understand the whole Ralph Ragnick situation. And if it has, please subscribe to United People's TV because there's going to be plenty more videos like this coming soon. But take it easy, everyone.